Hey guys, Steve here. Well, I decided to make a video on bamboo needles, or more commonly known as fiber needles. Now, these are much better, or much easier on your 78 records than a steel needle. And it produces a much softer sound. And any of my more expensive records or possibly like late I usually don't play later records on my steel needle phonographs but if I do I will use a fiber needle because like I said it's much safer so on the left hand side here you're gonna see this is a piece of raw bamboo now I use an exacto knife and I basically make a straight I'll show you real quick guys I'll show you just make a, see, see the straight cut right there? I just make a straight cut, stri uh, straight down. It cuts very easily. And then what I'll do is you have to keep the, this outside skin here. You have to keep it on the outside. And I just do a little triangular shape. And you don't want to make it too big or it won't fit into your triangular reproducer, the needle holder. So, and once you do that, then I just use a, a wood hardening solution. And um, that's very important because if you try to play the raw bamboo, it'll wear um, rather quickly while you're playing them. Uh, okay, so I'll show you the two cutters that I have, and I'm sure there's more out there, but I prefer these. These are the L&H cutters. Um, they work really well. So what, how you put it in is, see how the triangle? You put this flat flat right here and you just put some pressure push it in make sure it's make sure it's in nice and I put a little pressure pushing into the cutters so that way it does a nice straight cut and as I'm pushing it snap it down that makes a perfect point every time with these now these Scissor ones, which I, I don't use these very often. Um, I pre, like I said, I prefer the L and H cutters, but the scissor style. See the angle? Just push it straight in to the hole. And then what I'll do is I'll put some pressure on here, open it up gently, and put put a good amount of pressure on it. And I just snap. I I don't like I don't like using these, but it's a it's an alternative. And um. These needles have actually already been hardened. You can see the um, the off color. Now we're ready to play a record. And you have to insert your fiber needle into your triangular shaped needle holder on your reproducer. Now there's a certain way that this has to be placed in. See if I can get this good here. Now you can see how it's sloping to the right. So when you're in this position, you just turn it once to the left. So that way that slope is actually coming up this way, like towards you. And that's how the needle gets placed into the needle chuck. Slides right in. And just tighten up your screw here. Now, what I'm going to show you, I want to show you a close up to it so you can get the right idea here. Now, they do say that these records um, are supposed to be conditioned up to play a fiber needle. Um, I usually try to play a record that's VG, like a very good plus plus. Anything worse than the um, fiber needle is going to wear a lot quicker. But I usually play this several times just to condition the record um, for the fiber needle. This is Eddie Steady by Warner's Seven Aces on Oki 4888-B. And this is a Victrola number 2 reproducer. Sound. 
if there's any singing in this one. Let's see. I don't think so. Oh, that's another part of the record. Yeah, you guys get the idea. That's the fiber needle. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope I coerced some people into trying out the fiber needle. Thanks for watching.